We're gonna hit the plus button. We're gonna change this to the glass effect. Now in the glass effect, you're gonna see a lot of different options. We've got a light for a lighting angle. Uh, we have the angle here. Uh, we have refraction, depth, dispersion, and frost. So if I change this here, like refraction, you'll notice that it looks like it's just like sitting on the background, but as we change refraction, it sort of bends everything. So first let's talk about light. If I zoom in here, you'll notice that we have a lighting angle that's shooting down. This is gonna be a 45 degree angle. And if I click on the object here where the glass is, uh, you'll see that the lighting is at 45 degrees. You can just drag this thing around. You'll see that the lighting kind of changes and our little icon here is indicating where the lighting is changing to. The other thing that we can do with light is we see that it's pretty intense. But if we actually just drag this down, little tip, you hover over the intensity and you can drag it right down. Let's talk a little bit about refraction. And we can see that refraction's all the way up and you can see how much it's bending the shapes underneath it. So if I actually pull this all the way down, we'll see that once again, it looks kind of like a normal frame with maybe like an inner shadow, a drop shadow, and that's about it. And you'll see that we have a drop shadow applied here. So if we take this off, we've just got just a little bit of glassiness. But if we bring that refraction way up, we'll see how it takes in the elements underneath it and actually bends them uh, behind the glass. A key thing to know about depth is if I actually take the refraction all the way down, depth doesn't do a lot. It does a little bit. You can see a little bit of sort of the shadowing and things like that as if it's a curved piece of glass. But really what I would encourage you to do is take refraction and depth and work them together. They influence each other. So depth will change the actual depth of the glass here. And once we refract, we can do a lot of things there. Now frost, it's a new name, but for you all, this really is like background blur. And this is the ability to sort of obfuscate or blur elements behind it. So say we bring that refraction way up, we have before and that depth way up, but if we frost that out, you'll see that it actually begins to obscure and blur out the elements behind it. So just remember that frost is a lot like blur. Now dispersion. One thing that you may notice about this is all of a sudden there's a lot of different colors going on here and it's going to bring in those rainbowy tones like if you show light through like prism you're going to see here that dispersion will actually if you bring it all the way down to zero everything looks black and white behind this because it's just a white interface with black text but if i bring it all the way up now we get all those sort of rainbow tones we're getting those blues actually as we begin to drag this around see how it works because if I just have this over a white surface here, it's not gonna work as well. I'm not gonna see the effects. This one's my favorite. It's super cool and it looks really funky.